Hello everyone, this is Buddha Zen Wisdom. We are here to accompany you every day. As we grow old, it's not the lack of friends, children, or a partner that we should fear, but rather the failure to understand these three points. There's a saying, a person's life is filled with endless tasks and goals, yet it's still incredibly short. In a lifetime, laughter and tears, sadness and joy all pass by fleetingly. No one goes through life without encountering hardships, and no one lives a life without pain. When we were young and fearless, we pursued endless dreams and hopes, pouring all our courage and strength into exploring every corner of the world. But as time passes, in the end, we enter our later years, our sharp edges softened by life, our thorns removed. We learn to remain calm when facing unpleasant people. After weathering life's ups and downs, experiencing both warmth and indifference, and seeing all facets of society, we gradually realize that some things may remain imperfect no matter how hard we try, and some people will still go their own way despite all the love we give. As it says in the New Testament, it is more blessed to give than to receive. When we reach old age, time becomes both distance and forgiveness. It makes certain things clearer, certain feelings more understandable, and brings everything to a quiet equilibrium. There's a common saying that time never stops and seasons flow like a river. So we must cherish the present. Indeed, in our later years, it's not the lack of friends, children, or a partner that we should fear, but rather failing to understand these three points. 1. Blessings in old age Blessings in old age aren't something that suddenly appear, they are the result of the cause and effect accumulated throughout the first half of life. The writer Anton Chekhov once said that while youth has its blessings, to maintain one's youthfulness until entering the grave is an even greater blessing. No matter the age, it's essential to plan for the future. Don't wait until you're very old to regret not planning in time. Take Zhuge Qing, a man who was skilled and attractive in his youth. His wife was beautiful, his son was outstanding, and he was very capable of making money. However, he was equally good at spending. While he made a lot of money in his business, he never paid into social insurance. Every time he earned money, he would indulge in fine food, fashionable clothes, and nice cars, leaving nothing saved. One year, he got involved in a big business deal, made a fortune, and became restless. He even started an affair, which led to a daughter. After a dramatic confrontation, his wife accepted reality but focused on her own self-reliance, putting money into courses and earning an undergraduate degree in finance. Three years later, she asked Juga Qing to fund their son's education in Hong Kong. Eventually, she started her own online business, living independently from him. Juga Qing, however, didn't change his ways, nor did he save or pay into social security. Eventually, an investment in real estate went disastrously wrong, leaving him broke. When he tried to reconcile with his ex-wife, she turned him away. His son became distant, and he ended up working hard to support his younger daughter. By his son's wedding, Juga Qin wasn't even invited. He faced old age without savings, a pension, or medical insurance, relying on work to survive. In contrast, his ex-wife lived a completely different life in her later years. As the saying goes, the cause is invisible, but the outcome is known to all. One's fate in old age is ultimately the result of one's actions. True happiness in old age is not something that emerges suddenly, it's built up from middle age. Thus, it's vital to secure your future, including social insurance, pension, and to lay a foundation for a worry-free later life. Secondly, understanding foresight and planning during youth provides confidence in old age. Thirdly, kindness and good deeds bring blessings in old age. Two, raising children is not for one's own security in old age, but for giving them love. Wang Jianmei, a 75-year-old woman, lives alone in an old, run-down apartment. Her home is sparsely furnished except for some discarded items she's collected and her pet dog. Every morning, she rises before six, cooks a simple breakfast of millet porridge with an egg, which she eats with a bit of homemade pickles. 
After breakfast, she puts on an old coat and gloves and heads out with her tricycle to pick up discarded paper boxes and plastic bottles around the streets. Some mornings are better, and she fills her cart, other days she returns with only a few bottles and boxes. At noon, she returns home, sorts the materials, and has a quiet lunch. She spends her afternoons selling these items, sometimes earning 30 or 40 yuan per trip. Wang Jianmei's life could have been easier, but due to her own stubbornness, she ruined her son's future and ultimately harmed herself. She lost her husband, who died protecting company property in a fire. Wang Jianmei, devastated by grief, focused all her energy on raising her son, pushing him towards becoming a doctor to save lives. She strictly controlled his life, punishing him if he didn't score first in his class, and denying him friends. As an adult, her son rarely visited, finding joy only with the girl next door who had once secretly brought him food. But when Wang Jianmei insisted he marry the hospital director's daughter for career advancement, her son finally left for good. Her controlling love had driven him away. Taiwanese writer Lung Ying Tai once said that the relationship between parents and children is a gradual separation. Many parents kidnap their children in the name of love, but to truly love them, one must understand that they are not obligated to repay. We should give our children selfless love, not control them in the name of love. 3. A friendship is not for seeking help, but for mutual support. Lu Qi, now 70, has a son living abroad who cannot be by his side. Fortunately, he has kind neighbors who help him in times of need. Lu Qi is quiet and shy, with few social skills, but he's a good-hearted man who cares about others. At 65, he heard a loud noise from his neighbor Old Zhang's apartment. Although others may have ignored it, Lu Qi was worried as Old Zhang, also living alone, might have been hurt. When there was no response, Lu Qi called the community center for help, and when they opened the door, they found Old Zhang collapsed on the floor. Thanks to Lu Qi, he received timely care. From that day on, Old Zhang and his family have been there for Lu Qi whenever he needs help, even bringing gifts from abroad as thanks. Ancient wisdom reminds us, gratitude must be repaid tenfold, and the bonds forged in times of need make our relationship stronger. The relationships that endure are built on mutual support and kindness.